The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America is here to empower you with knowledge so you can talk with your healthcare team and advocate for your health. Dr. Stukas, some allergy and asthma medications are injections that people give to themselves. What advice do you have to help people prepare for those types of self-injectable medications if they may not be used to it or, or new to it? What advice would you have for those? I love that you can ask this question in today's day and age and that we have wonderful treatment options available. So most of these are going to be in the classification called biologics. And these are amazing medications that really target specific parts of the immune system that are tailored towards each person and the type of allergies, I'm sorry, type of asthma that they have. Uh, so these are wonderful treatment options for people who have truly, you know, poorly controlled asthma, severe asthma, frequent exacerbations, things like that. So whenever we think about injections, which a lot of people, myself included, really have a, like a needle phobia. I don't like getting shots. It's not particularly fun for me. Uh, but if I realize the importance of it, I try to keep that in mind. So it's all about the mindset and sort of reframing. Why are we doing this? Well, if your asthma really isn't well controlled, these treatments will hopefully change your life in, in a positive way. So just kind of approaching it for what's the long term reason for doing this. And then in general, whenever you're, you know, for people who aren't used to getting it, it's always about practice, practice, practice. And many of these you can actually be taught how to give at home. Uh, so making sure that when you go to your allergist office that they spend a lot of time on education, uh, showing you how it's you know properly administered, letting you even practice uh, while you're in the office setting as well, and then making sure that you know how to do that. That's an important part of this. And then whenever it comes to actually delivering it, if you're somebody like me who uh, who doesn't really like you know needles and, and shots and things like that, breathing your way through it can be very effective. So this is all about just you know taking time to sort of focus on our breaths. My personal favorite is something called boxed breathing, uh, which really is if you think about the four sides of a box, it's taking, you know, three or four seconds on each side with a slow, deep inhalation through your nose, holding for three or four seconds, and then slowly breathing out. And then hold for four, three or four seconds as well. Doing that for 30 or 60 seconds ahead of time can be very helpful. If you're giving your own shot, uh, we obviously want you to look at it. <laughs> so you make sure you're giving it in the right location. But if somebody else is administering it to you or for you, uh, then sometimes looking away can help as well. Uh, and hopefully those are some of the tips that can help get you through it. For those who have been prescribed these medications and you find that you're struggling with it for whatever reason, please, 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 please reach out to your allergist, uh, talk to their office staff and, and let them know the struggles that you have. And hopefully they can give you this support that you need. Yeah, thanks. That's really great to remember too, especially because a lot of the devices may look similar, but have different ways of actually doing the injection. So it's really helpful, like you said, to have practice, practice, practice.